Hi, church family. Here's your in the know in under five minutes for the week of April 3rd. Happy April. It was good to have uh, Dave and Jessica Wolf with us in the Cross Point living room on the 3rd. Dave led us in worship alongside the Cross Point team, and so it was good to be able to gather with them. I encourage you to be continuing in prayer for Dave and Jessica as they seek the Lord's will, and for us as a Cross Point family as we seek to do the same thing. We want the Spirit to lead as it relates to uh, Dave potentially joining our staff as, a, as, a, as, as an additional pastor, uh, strengthening that area of worship, strengthening area of discipleship. Uh, we want to see the Lord's will done. We want, to, we want the Spirit of God to lead uh, both the Wolf family, the Cross Point family. And so uh, let's be prayerful uh, in the days ahead. As we think about April, we're going to be continuing in the Gospel of Luke. We finish up Luke on April 24th on that Sunday. And so we are approaching uh, the, the end of this Gospel. And we're tracking along with the, uh, the Passion Week, the days leading up to Good Friday and Easter morning. And so as we think about those dates, April 15th, Good Friday, we will be alongside Eureka Bible to remember the cross, remember... Um, Remember his sacrifice to celebrate the Lord's Supper together, 7 p.m. at Eureka Bible. Uh, I'll be preaching. Their, their, uh, their worship team will be leading us in worship. And so I hope you can make it that evening, April 15th, Good Friday, 7 p.m. at Eureka Bible. Easter morning, 10 a.m., we will be together uh, at, at uh, Cross Point. The Cross Point family gathered together in the Cross Point living room. All the generations, Sun Chasers does not meet on Easter morning. It's an opportunity for the entire church family to be together, to remember the resurrection, remember the, the new life that we have in Christ, remember the reality that he is risen and that has changed everything. And so I hope you can join us that day, 10 a.m. Easter morning on the 17th. I hope you can invite somebody and uh Two years ago, we were online only. Last year, we were two services. This year, one service only, 10 a.m. We're going to pack out the living room, so I encourage you to join with us. And uh, parents, pack activities for your kids. Sherry will have activities as well in the foyer for them to pick up beforehand. The service will be live streaming in the back if your kids need a stretch break. And uh, so join with us that day. Also that day, I'm hopeful that we can uh, celebrate some baptisms. And so if that's a potential next step for you, talk to myself, talk to uh, Kent, an elder, a staff person, your community group leader, and uh, let's, let's consider and let's think about taking that next step. And what a perfect day for us to celebrate the new life that we have in Christ, but on resurrection day and going public with our faith in baptism. And then uh, looking into April, then the, the other Sundays, April 24th, after the service, we will have a First Connections lunch. This is an opportunity for those newer to Cross Point to get to know other Cross Pointers, um, enjoy a meal together, be able to ask questions and about, about the church and uh, things around here. And so if that's a, if you're newer to the church, if, if this is a, a way for you to connect with others, then please sign up. You can sign up either at Guest Connections or by emailing me or there's also a form on our website and you can follow that link in the description of this video. And then finally, the last uh, weekend in April, April 30th, that Saturday, uh, the ladies are currently planning an encouraging morning. They're gonna call it Bloom. And this is an opportunity for uh, ladies of the church, all generations to, to gather together, to be encouraged. We've got a speaker uh, coming in and uh, a chance for women to be alongside other women and to encourage one another in the faith. And so I hope you can uh, join in that. You can sign up if you need child care at Guest Connections and all the other details of that are on our website. Again, that link is gonna be in the description. It's gonna be a lot of things happening here in April, but all of these are evidences of the Lord's work. And so let's remain prayerful, let's remain watchful and uh, to God be the glory alone. I love you, church. Have a good week in the Lord. I'll see you on Sunday.